I'm Chris Anderson from Science Over Everything. I'm here in the Alps on the German and Austrian border. And just like everywhere I go, I'm curious about the science around me. Like, these mountains here, how did they form? Let's find out. Mountains form through a process called tectonic drift. The Earth's outermost layer is called the crust and is made up of huge slabs of rock called tectonic plates. These plates fit together like a puzzle and float on top of the mantle and move due to currents and magma flowing beneath them. These are known as convection currents and cause the tectonic plates to crash into one another. When two plates collide, one slides underneath the other. Scientists call this subduction and it builds up huge amounts of pressure and forcing billions of tons of rock to be pushed up, causing mountains to form. The area where two plates come together is called a convergent plate boundary. In this case, you have the African plate and European plate smashing together. When these two plates collide, kind of like hoods of two cars in a head-on collision. Geologists call this geologic uplift. It's how these mountains are formed. Now, you probably don't notice the plates moving. We're talking billions and billions of tons of rock, so they only move a few inches a year. But after about 100 million years, you can really tell the difference. We can model how continental drift and plate tectonics work. The mantle is filled with molten rock, which is able to flow a little bit like the water in this beaker here. The crust is made up of tectonic plates, which float on top of the mantle, kind of like these styrofoam pieces. Now the Earth's core is really hot, over 6,000 degrees Celsius. The core heats the magma in the lower part of the mantle, much like how this hot plate heats the water in this beaker. When that magma becomes hot, it expands and becomes less dense, allowing it to rise. We can see this when we add a little bit of food coloring. At the same time, magma closer to the surface of the Earth is cooler and more dense by comparison and will start to sink. This creates a circular current called a convection current and this is what drives the tectonic plates to move. This movement of tectonic plates over time, scientists call continental drift. Now you'll notice not all plates move the same way. Where two plates move apart, we call that a divergent plate boundary. Where two plates come together and bump into each other, we call that a convergent plate boundary. We can also model how mountains form at convergent plate boundaries. Here, I've got two graham crackers, which represent two different tectonic plates. Underneath the graham crackers, I have some frosting, which is good to represent the gooey, flowing nature of the magma in the mantle. When I slide these two graham crackers together, one graham cracker slides underneath the other. We call this subduction. Now, as one cracker is being subducted under the other, you can see they start to fold and crumble. The same thing happens on Earth as well. At a convergent plate boundary, one tectonic plate gets subducted under the other. This causes huge amounts of pressures to build up. Eventually, the plates start to buckle and fold, and that's what forms mountains.